When bad stuff happens, which parts are you going to focus on and how quickly are you going to let it go? Let's talk about that today. I set up a Patreon so you all can get access, only access to future episodes. I've got this huge backlog, like 60 episodes, and I'll be putting them on the Patreon. So go to beautifulpodcast.com, look for the link in the header, and let's begin. Welcome to everybody out there in the multiverse, exploring realms of possibility, jumping into different dimensions and opening your crown chakra to receive universal energy. Let me tell you, (laughs) something happened to me yesterday and it led me to asking this question, is happiness your priority? So I'll tell you what happened. I was standing here in Ciudad Nueva in Asuncion, Paraguay, near my house, like just around the corner, waiting for a bus. And maybe the bus route information wasn't quite correct because I waited for quite a while. The bus didn't come. I noticed a police squad car come around. And it came around the second time, stopped in front of me, and a police officer got out and he started asking for my identification. Now, me being the, I don't know, independent thinker that I am, the anarchist or the resistor to authority, I don't know what, I said, all right, well, you can show me your identification first. <laughs> The guy didn't like that. He's like, there's a squad car. This is my badge. What more identification do you need? Now show me yours. And I was like, I don't know about that. (laughs) I refused about five times. And then they're like, all right, we're taking you to to the station then. And they put me in handcuffs. And I was like, what? No, just let me me show you my ID. That's fine. And they're like, all right, you're too late for that now. So they took me to the police station in handcuffs. And, well, as soon as they got got out of the squad car, he was like, all right, we'll take the cuffs off. And I guess they kind of knew that I was no threat after chatting with me for a few minutes in the squad car and asking me these loaded questions like, yeah, in Australia, show this lack of authority. I'm like, I'm not, not, not trying to show lack of respect for authority. I'm just trying to stand up for my own rights here and you know there's a difference anyway <laughs> they uh got my identification and they they ran it check with interpol i don't know why that's such a common thing here that that interpol needs to get involved <laughs> anyway obviously they found that there were no outstanding warrants for my arrest around the world and they said all right well that's fine you know but it will give you a lift to where you're going and jump in the squad car again and drive me around and they start asking me a few questions about Australia. Oh, Australia, that's when the kangaroos are, right? And do you eat kangaroos and that kind of thing? <laughs> the stuff that people like to ask Australians. And then they drop me off and they give me some information about the bus routes and they said, here, you can ask these citizens here at the bus stop to make sure it's the right place to take the route 23 and you can be on your way to Lombardé. And uh, and they said, nice to meet you. And one of them shook my hand. Now, like I said, I'm going to ask the, the question, is happiness a priority? Because if this had happened maybe just a few years ago, I would have been a lot more antagonistic. I mean, obviously I was to to some extent, but I probably would have kept arguing with them and trying to (laughs) beat a dead horse. And I wouldn't have recognized our common humanity and began to laugh with these police officers, even though they, they had me in this awkward position. And I probably would have remained angry about it 
for days or, you know, maybe weeks. And maybe if it came up years later, I'd still be like, those, those little blue bla- emblazoned bastards. <laughs> but there's another way to go about it. Turns out I can just say, oh, well, that's that's what happened. And I did get to choose what I focus on. So I could focus on the fact that they detained me or I could focus on the fact that they had a laugh with me and they gave me a lift and they gave me some more information about the bus schedule that I previously was unaware of. So who has the power? You know, maybe bullies have the power sometimes. Maybe... You have the power because you have the power over your own attitude. You can choose how to interpret events and you can choose what to focus on. So I decided yesterday and today to make happiness my priority. And there are other things I could have put higher on the list, like my own ego, my own will for self-determination or something like that. I'd rather be happy. So that is the question. Is happiness your priority? Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being an excellent audience and enjoying your life and looking for opportunities to be happier in your everyday life even when things go as you weren't expecting them. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. A beautiful thought. Thank you for coming along for the ride. If you want to support the podcast, there's the Patreon. You can share it with friends or you can schedule a cognitive behavioral session with me so I can listen to what's going on in your life, trying to ask you some questions that gives you a fresh perspective and collaborate with you to come up with a plan to move towards fulfillment, contentment, happiness, felicity, and enjoyment. So check out beautifulpodcast.com. See the links in the header. Have a great day.